Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition, and we're going to talk about The Legend of Vox Machina um, on Amazon Prime. Spoilers for The Legends of Vox Machina on Amazon Prime uh, in this content. And we're specifically going to talk about Vex, Vax, Vex, Vax, and Trinket. All right. And uh, the reason why we're going to talk about them today is uh, they are part of the... It's either six or seven... Um, yeah. So there's Vex, there's Vax, there's Pick, uh, Trickfoot, there is... There's quite a few in there. I'm trying to wonder if there's six or seven. You know, yeah, there's Pike, Trickfoot, Foot, um, and then there's Percy, and then there's Grog, and then there's Keyleth, which is six. I'm thinking there's somebody, somebody else in there? So there's either six or seven, you know, um, members in the team. It's a large team, right? And we, so there's a lot happening here. So you have this large, you have this very large Dungeons and Dragons um, team, right? Uh, crew, adventuring party, right? And Vex and Vax are part of that. And all of it is part of Legend, Legends of Vox Machina jumping off of the table and jumping on to the, a major streamer as a real animated show, right? And um, Critical Role is its own thing, and Legends of Vox Machina is them graduating to the small screen um, of mass market, uh, of mass, you know, mainstream, mainstream, small screen, mainstream, small screen, right? Because they, they've been on, um, they've been on YouTube and on, um, They've been on YouTube and they've been on um, Twi uh, Twitch for a long time. But when it comes to the mainstream, the mainstream really doesn't respect either one of those. Um, they really don't give very much respect at all to either one of those um, areas. Of, of, they're, uh, what's the right, oh, they're, on the, they're on the wrong side of the tracks when it comes to media, right? Still. You're like, oh, are you from over there? You know, like, and regular people just don't acknowledge them, right? But now that it's coming onto uh, onto a mainstream small screen, a mainstream small screen, I'm very I'm very fascinated by what we're seeing, specifically with um, very fascinated by what we're seeing specifically with this moving from the tabletop role playing game to this animated television show and one of the things the animated television show does that animation does is it just allows you to see things it, it moves everything faster right so one of, I'm really fascinated I've been listening to Jeremy Crawford recently and he's been talking about what the game promises versus what it delivers right like because and at Wizards of the Coast they've realized you know like the expectation of people coming in and what you know the promises made on the outside of the book and the promises of expectation, all these different things um, are happening. And then you, you reach a point where you're like, once you start playing, you're like, well, that's not happening here. Why isn't there at, that happening here? And uh, and it, you, people are like, oh, I'm disappointed because expectation doesn't match reality. But one of the things is that Legends of Vox Machina has helped me to see is I was always aware of the problems that happened with Mercer's content and with Critical Role's content, but Legends of Vox Machina has helped me to see how much, how Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition specific it is, right? It has really fast combat. Um, it has, it really feels like the multiverse because there's so many different races within the players, uh, within the player character group. And, um, but one, but, I, I'm shocked. Legends of Vox Machina, Amazon Prime has helped me to see that there are some things actually w within the player choices, right, um, within Critical Role that are actually worth emulating. And Vex and Vax are that. So let's talk about Vex and Vax. So Vex is um, Vex is a half elk. Uh, I'm sorry. Vex is a half elf um, ranger who has a bear companion bear animal companion named Trinket and um, she is and and Vex is played specifically by Laura Bailey who is the wife of Travis Willingham um, and then Vax is played by 
Vax is a half elk, half elf rogue, right? Um, now, in the tabletop version, there was some nonsense about him having some levels in rogue and paladin, which I was like, oh man, that's the worst. That sounds like he's dipping into um, classes to get functions rather than allowing the. St- he's dipping into classes to get features and specific um, functionality rather than just allowing the um, the narrative to you know drive progression for the character because logically there'd be no way you would end up with a rogue paladin druid and there's already a druid in the party so I was a little disappointed but but in the show it doesn't show that he he just really looks like a half elf rogue and the functionality he shows is really just half elf half elf rogue right so uh, and he is played by Liam O'Brien and what really impressed me is the two of them beforehand were like we're brother and sister right and it seems like a small thing. It's not even remotely a small thing. It's just, it's saying to the dungeon master, we're here to help you, right? Like, you know, I can't tell you how constant it is that you get players who are like, I'm a lone wolf, or I'm not even a lone wolf, but I, I but let me, let me tell you, dungeon master, I'm going to kick six ways to Sunday before I work with anybody on this player character team. And I'm going to tell them everything wrong that, you know, that they do, that they're doing on their sheet, in the game, in the narrative, like, and just, you have constant bicker, like, it, it is a huge problem, right, you bring in people, and they're like, and I've, I've had players like, well, I don't know this person yet, I'm like, we're not doing that, we're not spending four sessions for you to be bonded to this person, the game talks about bonds, you need to give me, you need to give me a reason why you are connected and will die for at least one of the people in this group because this is Dungeons and Dragons and you are expected to slay dragons soon there is absolutely no time for you to make a single one of these player characters your enemy or even be indifferent to them right because your life is going to be on the line half the time in this game and you need the people around you to have your back and so Liam O'Brien and Laura Barely are like, we're brother and sister. You, we would die for each other. And also you have Trinket there. So what you see is you see th- they're the heart of the team, right? One, you got three HP bags, right? Like there's a, just a ton of HP there. And so when attacks start coming in, all three of them can absorb attacks and they're less likely to die because there's literally more of them, right? And they are allied. They're officially allied through narrative, right? And Mercer didn't have to do that. And when I look at Critical Role, I see just so much of the Michael Jordan having to carry everyone else on the team, right? You know, and like, and I just see so few examples of any of the Critical Role players helping him rather than literally getting in his way and putting up obstacles that he has to hurdle over with his immense talent, which he's able to do. But it just leaves me wondering uh, what could have been done if any of these players were helping him. And now now I do see there was some help, right? This choice between Vex and Vax to be brother and sister, the choice to bring in Trinket, a large animal companion that could absorb. And then also they can all throw down, right? Like they can all, you know, push damage out the opposite way. So I really like Vex and Vax. They're spectacular. And it's a fantastic example of... Of someone helping Mer- of of the critical role players actually helping Mercer rather than saying, "Hey, not only am I on your back and you're going to carry me, but I got an extra heavy backpack today." <laughs> like it's just like, oh my gosh, right? So and you know, so I I was very very impressed with Vex and Vax, and that is worth emulating as a player. If you're a Dungeons and Dragons player, this is totally worth emulating. This is how you build a a kernel of a team that other people can can adhesively. Um, connect to, and I, I really think that Vex and Vax are kind of the heart of the of the Vox Machina party. All that's my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.